name is Brock and I'm with Zeppelin Design Labs here in Chicago. Today I want to demonstrate our newest product, the Quaverado Harmonic Tremolo Pedal. The Quaverado is a very versatile tremolo pedal that has a lot of really practical and useful features for guitarists. And in this video I want to give you an in-depth look at what this pedal has to offer. The Quaverado splits the guitar signal into two paths, the low frequencies and the high frequencies. And this pedal can control each of those two signal paths independently. One of the primary features of the Quaverado is that it can operate as a harmonic tremolo, meaning that each of the two signal paths is modulated out of phase from each other. So when the high frequencies are loud, the low frequencies are soft, and vice versa. As you can tell, this creates a really cool phasey vibrato-like sound. You can access the harmonic tremolo by flipping this switch to the out of phase position. When the switch is set to the in phase position, the pedal operates as a traditional tremolo in which all frequencies are modulated together in phase. The harmonic mix knob allows you to alter the modulation depth of the high and low frequencies independently. When this knob is set all the way to the low side, the modulation depth of the high frequencies is zero, and the modulation depth of the low frequencies is determined by the depth knob setting. And the opposite is also true. When the harmonics mix knob is set to the maximum clockwise position, the modulation of the low frequencies will be zero, and the amount the high frequencies modulate is determined by the depth knob setting. And of course, the modulation depth is reduced on a gradient for all positions in between these extremes. In the 12 o'clock position, there is a null zone in which both sides are modulated equally. You can control the modulation tempo in a couple of different ways. One way is to use the tap time foot switch, which works in conjunction with the tap time multiplier knob. This knob gives you six ratios to choose from, including half time, double time, and even triplets. The other way of adjusting the modulation tempo is to use the rate knob. The fastest rate obtainable by the Quaverado is about 40 Hz, which is fast enough to give some interesting ring modulator type sounds. The depth knob does just what you'd expect. It adjusts the intensity of the modulation applied to the guitar signal. In the fully counterclockwise position, the depth is at zero, which means the modulation is off. With the modulation off, the signal still retains the character provided by the analog circuitry. This ends up being a good way to fatten up your guitar tone. And with a volume knob at maximum clockwise position, you can get up to 15 decibels of gain. So you can use the Quaverado in this way as something like a thick boost pedal. The spacing knob skews or changes the duty cycle of the modulation waveform. Turning the knob counterclockwise lowers the duty cycle, which is more time off than on. And turning the knob clockwise increases the duty cycle, which is more time on 
than off. On the spacing knob, there is a range around the 12 o'clock position that is a null zone in which the modulation duty cycle is 50%, meaning that the wave shape spacing is not affected in this position. The Quaver Auto offers five different modulation wave shapes to choose from. Sine, Sawtooth, Ramp, Triangle, and square. The mode switch affects how the bypass foot switch works. In the momentary mode, the effect is only engaged when the bypass switch is held down. And in toggle mode, the bypass switch toggles the effect on and off like a traditional pedal. Some of the things that make the Quaver Auto a unique pedal are the internal circuit board controls. And you can access them by removing these two nuts and the two screws on either side. One of the things that makes the Quaver Auto very versatile is the ability to adjust the crossover frequencies of both the low and the high pass filters. This has a big impact on how the harmonic tremolo sounds. These dip switches can be set to different positions corresponding to different cutoff frequencies. There is a table in the user manual that gives all the available frequencies and their corresponding switch positions. Right now, the low and the high pass filters are set to 400 and 600 hertz respectively. Now let's set the cutoff frequencies in a more extreme way. We'll set the low pass filters to 200 hertz and we'll set the high pass filters to 1400 hertz, that's 1.4K. And you'll notice that the phasey vibrato-like sounds are much more prominent. Typically, we like to set these cutoff frequencies to 400 and 600 hertz, which we feel gives some interesting character, but is still very usable. And you can also adjust the relative volume levels of the high and low frequency signal pass with these trim pots here. This really gives you the ability to shape your tone in the Quaver Auto. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver to make these adjustments. If the signal is too dark for your taste, you can turn down the low side and turn up the high side. Clockwise increases the volume and counterclockwise reduces the volume. And if the signal is too bright, do just the opposite. This other trim pot is used to set the overall gain of the pedal. On the gain trim pot, counterclockwise gives more gain and clockwise reduces the gain. We set this to give roughly unity gain when the volume knob is in the 12 o'clock position. If you need more gain, feel free to play with this setting as well. Thanks for watching this video. We'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope you get a chance to try out the Quaver Auto for yourself. I think you'll like it.